you're a great fucking co-host, man. Like, you're an awesome guest, and... <laughs> and Kurt just gave me the whistle that, uh... That What's says, the whistle mean? The whistle means don't get us any more, any, any more trouble than we're already in. <laughs> what? So... <laughs> Why are we in trouble? We're in trouble because Facebook Live is live, and staring at my ceiling. Let's see if we can fix that. Oh, that... that. Oh hey, check that out. Ooh, but Dune got cut out. What? That's that's not No no no, it's okay, I can fix it. I can fix it. Oh, there we go. That's weird. Your tuba moves when you touch your phone. That's weird. I know. Most people don't know. We're real high tech around here and uh there's a <laughs> we have thousand dollars worth of camera gear zip tied to a tuba. Well, how much does a tuba cost? That then you add the two together, and then that that tuba has a story. Well, that tuba belongs to the tuba player for the Hawaiian Symphony and the Hawaiian Royal Band, and it's the first tuba he ever owned. The reason it's here is because he doesn't play it anymore. Obviously, symphonists, symphonic tubists. TJ's gonna ruin me for not getting this right, but um. No, he's got this. He's got a horn now that's custom made, and has a bell that's called the Kraken. Like, no, uh, PhD tuba players don't play student Yamahas very often. Why? Uh, just because it doesn't have the versatility. You, that... didn't, you didn't just tell me that, did you? No, probably not. <laughs> I don't know. I forget. I just, uh, <laughs> anyway, but that horn came to TJ because it was being sold. It had fallen off the back of a bus and TJ restored it. And that became the first tuba that he ever played. And he, that uh, tuba, wait, that tuba fell off the back of a bus? Really? Yes. Off the back of a school bus. Yeah. Yeah. And now I should have put it, put it in a case. Well, high schools can't afford stuff like hey, that. Hey, my bass doesn't have a case. <laughs> you sing that every night when I play it. <laughs> yeah, but your bass gets left in in a music institution. On camera. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. I don't have a case, I have a camera. <laughs> that, that poor tuba started life in a whole <laughs> other way. <laughs> you lighting a cigarette? Mm. I didn't know you could smoke in here. I'm lighting a cigarette and wishing I had grabbed a Guinness already. So I'm going to grab another one. I have one of your Guinnesses that you gave me. So may I spark one? The cig? Yes. Thank you. I also have yingling. I got a yingling. Good, I still got this. A lot of dead air all of a sudden. That's what a beer does. Yeah, well. <laughs> Listen, guys, that's why you have a producer. If you're listening to the broadcast, did he just cue up music or some stuff? I'm sure he did. He did? He did. Because <laughs> Kurt Brewer is the best production manager of all time. And, um, since Are we Facebook, allowed to say his name? Yeah, well, since Facebook Live is up now, um, for those of you, for those of you just tuning in, welcome to ninety three point five Pirate Radio, Perdido Key. I like the Pirate Radio. Uh, man, that's good stuff. <laughs> oh, hey, by, the, by, the, by the way, now that you're on a new mic, that was a pop in of the pee, just so you know. Which basically means my mic technique sucks and my buck teeth get in the way of my proper pronunciation. <laughs> Something to that effect. Wait, Kurt's gonna hook me up with a solution. Oh, I'm gonna ruin that. That is that is a wonderful solution. Um, so, so I was asked to first introduce myself, Compton Smith. Welcome, Facebook. Hello. Um, I'm Jonathan Newton. You can find me on. <laughs> no, no, yes, I'm, you should I'm, definitely I'm, check it out. I'm, I'm, I'm talking to the guy in the background. Sorry, this is Jonathan Newton. I'm on F Book. You can figure out what the F means. You can find <laughs> me wherever that F is, but that's okay. <laughs> mm. Um, that's it. Yeah. So, 
so pe- a lot of people ask and wonder what in the world are we doing here and um, the purpose of this whole thing is for me someone who has developed an opinion to have conversations with my friends and the people that I'm around on a regular basis and and learn and we learn by having conversations and Newton and I have gotten to know each other really well over the last couple of years we, we work together on a nearly daily basis um, and you find people that you strike up conversations with and it makes sense and you, you can talk about things that uh, the average tourist is not interested in because they're on vacation and they're checked out and yet those of us that live real life and uh, you could just ash in the sink I was wondering, here, wait, there's this, yeah, that, uh, I didn't know what he was, why he was giving me a cigarette, I don't even smoke. No worries. Thank God. No worries. <laughs> don't we don't have enough, know. we don't have enough ashtrays to go around, but it's okay. Um, yeah, so the the whole concept behind the show is that I have a worldview and I have, have a perspective and a point of view, and anybody that thinks that that doesn't need improvement is lying to themselves, and the way that I get smarter is by talking to people that I respect and appreciate and so hopefully the whole point of this in the long run is to document the evolution of a worldview damn. how you doing Newton I'm about to say uh, I agree with Kurt damn I don't know how to compete with that that was good stuff that was that damn just damn what am I going to say to that? You don't have to say anything to it. Just keep asking questions. Hopefully yeah. I can answer them. No, you don't, you don't have to say anything to it. But <laughs> but it is kind of the beauty of the whole thing. Like, we don't have to we don't have to mill around and, and, and talk about BS. And we can, and we can sit around, and we can, we can have... We can have great conversations through mythology. You know, and, and we all can. And we can tell stories that relate to the character that, that we are and, and who we are. But... We can also talk about the ideas that we've come to believe in, and and hopefully, this will will be an effort to document all of that. And I hope to one day look back at this and be like, at least they put forth the effort to try and and learn something from other people. Don't want nothing from me, just bad habits. <laughs> well, that's why you're here. <laughs> but the the bad habits, the bad habits are amusing. I mean, they're they're definitely entertaining. I'm having fun watching you. I can say one word and you just go on to a, a, a rant. I love it. Yeah, I am kind of in that in that <laughs> mode. It, it's kind of like. <laughs> if the the silence, the undisturbed <laughs> silence at the bottom, like if anything gets through and it it disturbs the wake of the silence or, or the non. Does wake Kurt of the silence. have sound effects? So like when you when you say things, he could like do words. No, sure. no, sure. Add, add that to the list, Ray Ray. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, um, I. I always know when I'm rambling because my cigarette goes out, and uh, that's happened. Okay, but, good. But, good. Okay, so seriously, all the grandiose BS aside, um, how do how do we all know each other? Uh, we all are lucky enough to be here on Pretty Dokey. And was that you, or was that somebody knocking on the door? No, I just said, I just moved it. Oh, okay. Hey, my microphone screen twisted. It likes being a C it's rather than, than <laughs> like a third. Is that a what? I don't know. Are I you did, sure Joey didn't knock on the door? Hit the window? Uh, no, I just moved it. Okay. Oh, good. Um, I really, on a, on, a, on a true note, I don't have much time. I really do have to go. It's Jason's, Jason's wedding tomorrow. Yeah, y'all talk about that for a minute. Let me uh, just yeah, it's, it's Jason's wedding tomorrow. I don't even have slacks. I gotta go buy some slacks for that. Maybe some real shoes. I got socks. That sounds like a problem I would have, Newton. Like, I don't have any pants. I... Thrift store. <laughs> Thrift store. Yeah, okay. That's a lot of kneecaps. <laughs> I can't wear that to Jason's wedding. Find <laughs> a good thrift store. I'm just gonna go to Target and get some slacks and a black tie. I got the, I got the top half. We're good. Perfect. 
<laughs> Perfect. Story right. of my life, not the bottom half. All right. Well, before you go, and since you're here, um, I I want one legit story, and Rob came up with the best two part question. Uh, when and where was your first gig? Mm-hmm. That's a loaded. Mm. It's not a loaded question. No, it's, it's an open-ended question. question. I was just like, no, that's just that, that's a good question. That is a good question. It, yeah, yeah. My first gig, I was seven years old, playing in a family band in Montana, like in the mountains in the woods. That was my first gig. Who was the audience? The mountains. Nice. <laughs> The yeah. mountain people? Hell yeah. <laughs> no, 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 like. <coughs> but it was a family thing, my, so it was like my, a neighborhood thing. Like, no, not really a neighborhood thing at all. Like, my parents always had a, had like in a duo, like mom and pop duo kind of thing. And long story short, they kept getting a request for this song, and my dad didn't know how to play. He's like, "Well, that's a mandolin song." I, I need to ask him what the name of the song was. I don't know what it is, but so this woman goes, "I'll give you a mandolin if you want to play." He goes, "Okay." So a couple weeks goes by and or, or however much time goes by and he gets a mandolin from her. And th- th- so he brings it home to me and then every weekend, I, you know, I was five, six, five, six, seven years old. My parents would go to the local campground or a bar or wherever in the weekends. And my brother was just old enough where he could actually be my babysitter, 12 years old. You know, I was seven, he was 12. And he could babysit me. It was just the two of us. And of course, he would just be an older brother to me all the time. And um, so I learned how to play that mandolin on the, on the weekends, so I could go with them, play play gigs with them. And I guess that was kind of where it started. So I started playing gigs with my parents, and then it kind of grew from there. Hell yeah! I mean, I could there, there's a deeper version, but that's about that was the shortest version I got. I wasn't looking for the short version, but that was uh, the short version. Okay, well, I'll let you get away with the short version if you'll answer another question for me. Or if you're indulge me on one other topic. Sure. We were real close to having a great conversation about improvisational music and how that relates to jam bands. Oh, are we going to get there really tonight? That's a different, that's a different show. Oh. That's, that's a long conversation. It is a long conversation, but I was hoping to, to summarize the, the lead up and, and get to the good part that never got answered, which was where is the distinction between the a slow build of something organic <laughs> versus a laid out... The conversation's going to be longer than the build of that song is, so maybe let's do it for another day. Uh-huh. And I, don't e- I don't even have slacks. Or real shoes to wear to my friend's wedding tomorrow, so I really gotta go do that. Fair. Is fair. that fair? How's that? Just write that, write that question down. That and we'll do this again. This yes. gives me a re- this gives me a return appearance. Yes. Ah. Yes. At your leisure. Or All leisure. Right. How was that? Was that good for like a soundcheck radio show? It was wonderful. But I still want an answer to that question. Like next I, one. that was that was a, a next one. Next, next one. I really got to go. We got a friend here. We got, I got to get a ride home. It really is late. Yes, yes, it is. It is. So, sorry we didn't get to anybody on Facebook. Uh, Kurt and I may bring this back this is a for, warm-up a for a second this is segment. Gonna be, this is going to be return thing. This is a warm-up for me. This is going to be good. It'll yes. Be fun. Yes, this, this was warm-up. So, I'm going to buy Kurt some time to throw some music on. We may come back with some more Facebook Live. We may have it as a short show tonight. Uh, we'll see how this plays out. And um, as uh, oh man, I hope I hope that's not it, but it may be it. Kurt's gonna give us. Some, oh, it's uh, not it. We have another guest lined up. Oh, see, that's what I wanted to hear. That's what I wanted to hear. Sweet. So we'll be back in a few minutes. Thanks for hanging out. We're gonna change some batteries. We're gonna reset some stuff. And uh, Newton's coming back for a return appearance, so we can talk some real shit about music. Sorry, FCC. We're gonna talk some real shit. All yes. Right, cool. Yes. Thank you for coming over tonight. Cool stuff. And uh, for all you guys on Facebook Live, I'm gonna double check on the comments, and I'll be right back with you.